Hey everybody, my name is Peter and today I would like to model a knot with an inside thread. I tried this several times already and I think I came up with a method which is quite easy to do. So let me start with a cylinder. Let's make it 18 edges. So it is a multiple of 3. I make it maybe 5 by 5 millimeters and make sure everything is centered. Hit the A key, <coughs> then drop the tool, select this new polygon, hit the B key to bevel it in a bit, then maybe a bit more, shift click, just a little shift click and shift click to reactivate the tool again, drop the tool. Now I select this edge and this edge, hit the up arrow key and then hit the R key on the green circle and flatten this out like so. Drop the tool, select everything, go to perspective, hit the X key and bring this down to maybe so. Drop the tool. Center everything in the middle. <clears throat> now I will select these edges here and this one. Up arrow key and then hit the R key and bring them down about like so. Drop the tool. Next we must harden some edges. I start with this one and this one, then this one and this one and then we need these six here so shift up arrow <coughs> and then I hit shift tap to go to Pixar sub D mode and then go to vertex map edge way tool 20% that looks not so bad so drop the tool if you think as usual it is too hard you can go up with the subdivision level to 3 and maybe we throw in two edges in here alt c count of 2 symmetry and harden these a bit more. So that looks not bad. We have the outside of our nut. Now the more complicated part of the inside comes. So I select this polygon and I select this one, hit the right mouse button and bridge them together. Next <coughs> I select two polys in here, hit the L key, Control X, hit the N key to make a new mesh, Control V to paste it in. And we don't need this one at the moment. Let me rename this to uh, not main body. <coughs> and this one here to uh, thread. Okay, now we are in the thread. I go to top view and make another circle with 18 edges which is a bit bigger than this one. I make it 4 by 4 and zero out this here, drop the tool, select this polygon, hit the B key, bevel it in a bit like so and hit the delete key. Perspective, I need to put this in a new in a new mesh. So let me make a new one by hitting the N key, Quit this one, control X. Control V, <coughs> go to top view, select one 
of these polys, invert the selection and delete it. Perspective. Now I <coughs> hit the X key, right click to activate the tool. Now control this handle to make really sure we make straight extrusion. Then I select uh, this face, hit the 8 key, or sorry, the invert selection key, and now I have a polygon which is exactly aligned to this uh, other mesh. We can now start to uh, position it properly, like maybe so. Hit the W key and bring it up almost to the top. Drop the tool. Okay. <clears throat> now let me go to duplicate, radial sweep, and make sure the count is the same as it is for your circle, namely 18. I say action center is origin, then uh, that's good, 18, and click in the viewport, but I want to have it around the Y. And we need some offset here, mm, that's too much, let's have it pretty close together, maybe like Minus one millimeter, yes. I think we can get about four windings. So let's up this count by a factor of four. I copy this to the clipboard. Then I will control V times four here. Control V times 4 here. And now we are a bit off. Doesn't matter. I select this and go to basic, center, select it all, go to the side view, hit the R key, and bring this down till it's just inside. Drop the tool, select the thread mesh, go to perspective, and now we can go to geometry, boolean, solid drill, and stencil, OK. Oh, no error message, so we have worked precise. We don't need to see this anymore. Let me just quickly make sure that I don't have any open words. No, that's good. Now I select um, I select these edges here, hit the up arrow key. So now I can say Alt C put in an edge here with a count of one. Uh, let me get rid of the helix generator, remove the tool. I deselect now this one and this one. And go to top view, hit the R key and bring this out to about here. Perspective, select all these edges now, these edges, and, and these edges, and go to vertex, edgeway tool, and shift tab to have a look how it looks. So that's not so bad. D 
deselect everything, shift, tab to get out, select this geometry, control X and bring it back to the not main body, control V and now we can uh, merge the words again, automatic, 126, Ooh, that's a lot, but anyway, it looks good. And here we are. This is our uh, knot. I will get rid of the work plane. Select a nice view and we leave this on for a while so I can select it as my thumbnail as usual. Thanks again for watching this. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you another time. Bye bye.